on, let's finish up one three with the midpoint formula. So we're just gonna extend the midpoint formula from last section to, two, to the xy plane. So if we have um, two points, x1 and y1, and x2 and y2, Right, we're gonna find the same, we're gonna find the midpoint again, right? But the midpoint now has an x and a y coordinate. It's halfway through, right? Just like before. So the distance is equal between them. Um, and so we'll just average out the x values. So x1 plus x2 over 2, right? That's the average of the x values. And then we'll do the same thing for the y values. So y1 plus y2 all over 2. And so that'll represent our midpoint in the xy plane. So because this is pre-calc, rather than just finding the midpoint of two regular points, we're gonna maybe use um, variables instead, right? We've got to make this a little bit more challenging than our algebra class. So we have a and 3b. I have no idea where a is, but let's just say this is a. And let's say this is 3b. Let's say they're positive. We don't know if A and B are positive or not, but if they were, they'd be here. And then, right, we're just estimating 3B. And then we have 5A and negative 3B, so my guess is negative 3B would be the opposite, and so we'll make a point. I have no idea where these points are, right? We're just estimating. But we'll make a line, and we're trying to find the midpoint. So we'll just average out the x values and we'll average out the y values. So the x coordinate will be x1 plus x2 all over 2, right? It's the average of them halfway in between, which will be a plus 5a all over 2, so 6a over 2 or 3a. So my picture is maybe not to scale, but that's okay. And then the y coordinate, same idea, we'll average out the y values. y1 plus y2 all over 2. So y1 would be 3b, and then plus negative 3b all over 2. So it looks like we get 0b, so 0 over 2 or 0. So maybe my midpoint was actually right there. And so my midpoint, which we'll call it m, is 3a comma 0. That would be halfway in between. And we'll do one more example. Uh, again, we're jumping into pre-calc, so things aren't going to be immediately plugged into a formula. It's going to be maybe a little bit thinking backwards. Um, but let's draw a graph every time it helps. So we have, we want to find the point B, um, and M is the midpoint of A to B. It looks like we know A is 5, 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8. So I'm just going to squeeze an A up here. It's 5, 8. Um, and we know the midpoint is negative 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1. So that's halfway, and I know that means B must be down here somewhere. So how can we figure this out? It's a little bit backwards, right? Um, we know the midpoint is x1 plus x2 over 2, and then y1 plus y2 over 2. Um, but we only know one of the x values and one of the y values. So let's see how we can approach this. So I'm going to call the other x and y just x, y, because those are unknown. But what's nice is we know the midpoint this time. So let's just do one coordinate at a time again. So let's do the x coordinate. So we know the midpoint is x1 plus x2, so we'll say x plus 5, x1 and x2 all over 2. We're going to average those out. And rather than saying that equals the midpoint, we know that that equals negative 1. And so we'll go ahead and solve that. Send me a question if you're not quite sure how I'm plugging in. 
So times by two. So x plus five is negative two. So x is negative seven. All right, so this isn't the midpoint. This is part of the other point. So negative seven. Seems to make kind of sense um, with my image, with my graph. Let's try the y coordinate. So we have y1 is y, y2 is eight. So y plus eight over two. And then since we know the midpoint, we're gonna set it equal to negative one, right? The y coordinate is also negative one. So we'll times by two. Y plus eight is negative two and minus eight. So y would be negative 10. And that's my other coordinate. I think the lesson of this example is don't immediately jump into formulas. Sometimes we're solving them backwards, things like that. Uh, draw a graph if you can, write out the formulas, but don't immediately just use any formula you know. So try to set it up and figure out what we know and don't know. Um, don't immediately just plug into any formula we know. So I hope this helps. Draw the graph, it helps. And again, I'll add some more Khan Academy examples, maybe with some review for those of us who maybe don't remember solving quadratics and stuff. So there might be some review in Khan Academy as well.